morning. Well, it's not really morning. It's 12.18 and I am just going out. Uh, again, the plan of me getting out uh, didn't work out because I got my period overnight. And if you are a female, lady, woman, whatever you call yourself, girl, uh, after a long flight, uh, your period usually sucks. So... Actually, my period came earlier as well. I think it came. Uh, it happened because of the stress from the flying. I don't know. I maybe just made it, making it up. But uh, yeah, I was in pain the whole night. I popped like four painkillers and didn't really help. So I just laid as late as possible. And now we are going for a day trip. So we're going by the seaside to a town or city called Kamakura. It's really pretty. There's shrines, there's temples, and obviously the seaside. So we're gonna go. God, look at the state of me. It's 30 degrees and I've been walking everywhere in Kamakura sweating. Anyways, a uh, little fail. So you saw the uh, Buddha statue so you can actually go in but the stairs are literally dimensions of my ass so and it's both ways so I decided not to go so I'm just chilling outside now and I think next stop would be finally the beach because it is half past four, still 30 degrees. This is pure sweat in my hair and yeah, I need to, I need to cool down.
back in the Hello, finally back in the room. It is 21.42. Um, so today kind of started as a fail. Luckily the painkillers start working in the, well, afternoon. So I was alright. But let me tell you, that heat, I'm going to be complaining. I'm going to be complaining about the heat every single fucking day because it's insane. Like we had 30 degrees. Oh. I was quite loud. We had 30 degrees in Czech Republic for last two, three weeks. And I was like, okay, I'm used to it. I will be fine with the heat. Honestly, Japanese heat is another level. Like, I thought I kind of knew from last year from Korea because it was like hot when it was only 24 degrees. But this is another level. So, yeah, and then in Kamakura. Kamakura, 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 don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, the places I want to go, there wasn't really a bus, I need to walk everywhere, so I have blisters, which is fabulous. Uh, I visited the two main temples slash shrines, which I was happy about, that I went by the seaside. I have to say the beach was quite dirty and stuff, but it was just nice to breathe the fresh air, the sea air, which was nice. Um, I had, as you've seen, the lovely uh, curry pan, uh, which was delicious. It was really hot, full of, like, the curry flavour was just, like, really savoury and, like, very, like, sharp flavours and the melted cheese as well. Incredible. Then I had the pickled cucumber and let me tell you, that was a nice surprise. I was like, you know, people been walking with the cucumbers around and I was like, let me try it. So it was like 200 or 250 yen and it was so tasty. Like it was the, not the right way of pickleness, but also you can really feel the umami. So I think there was like MSG in that uh, pickling juice and maybe like a little bit of um, uh, miso as well so that was incredible and then obviously I got the rice cakes I love rice cakes that is one of my favorite sweets and I got the mugwort with the red bean paste delicious honestly so that was kind of like lunch and then because I was exhausted uh, I was thinking to actually get like a how's it called dinner in, uh, in there but I was just you know what I'm just gonna go back to hotel uh, and then I will decide if I'm gonna order something or if I go somewhere or if I just pop to the convenience store or convene as they call it here and yeah just got an ice cream before I jump on a train and then basically went back um, the train was about like hour and 10 minutes uh, to Kamakura, which is not too bad. It cost me one way was 830 yen, so around four pounds, which again, if you compare it with prices for trains in England, like this is unheard of. So yeah, like eight pounds both ways. Uh, I think it's definitely worth to go if you have uh, more days in Tokyo. I have to say for me Tokyo is not the main selling point of Japan so when I was kind of planning my days I was like you know what I'm gonna do one day just try to get over jet lag get my hair cut get my nails done today I'm gonna do the day trip by the sea tomorrow I have like a full day here in Tokyo and then on Tuesday we going to Mount Fuji for a day trip and then uh, the following day I'm moving to Kyoto so that would be nice I'm excited and uh, as you've seen I had the dinner which was dashi dashi soup absolutely incredible and also it was like a fast food chain I would never go there about that uh, the hairdresser from yesterday actually he suggested it as well so I went there I know about dashi I had it on my list in case I'm gonna go to certain area uh, of Tokyo but oh yeah, that didn't really happen to so so I went there because it was literally like 10 minutes walk from the hotel and it was like a fast food chain but it was incredible so clean so tasty like the sea bars with a sesame dressing oh my god best thing ever 
the rice was really like the perfect, uh, perfectly cooked. The dashi broth was like very flavorful as well. Then on the side there were some like uh, pickled cucumbers and also pickled seaweed and lotus root and beans. And it was just lovely. Oh, and some tofu, soft, uh, softened or soft tofu. So that was lovely. And now, obviously, I'm in my hotel and I bought myself some little treats because I didn't eat that much. I actually hit 20,000 steps today. So I'm just going to enjoy a few bits. So first I got is this creamy... Uh, like roll, so it's a Hokkaido milk cream cake roll. I had something similar actually in in Korea and I loved it, so I guess this would be exactly the same. So as you can see, this is the roll filled with cream, really thin cake. Mmm. Mmm. Incredible, very soft. The cream is not too sweet. The cake itself is not very sweet as well. It has nice vanilla flavor as well. Oh, gorgeous. And then I finally found the melon pun. So I know again, because I'm spending way too much time on TikTok, I know it's kind of viral as well. So it's essentially like a bread filled with melon custard I would say and then the top it's kind of hard because there's like a sugar and sweet so it should be filled we'll see mm. no filling yet but not so surprised it reminds me in Czech Republic we have this uh, it's like a kid snack called biscotti that's exactly how it tastes and I haven't them I haven't had them for a long time, but this is incredible. Where's the filling? Hold on. Is that no filling? Am I tripping? Is it just melon now because of the top? I swear to god I seen some with filling maybe it was Korea I don't know but well that's a bit of a let down still gonna eat it obviously I'm not wasting food especially if it's cops um hmm. oh well it is what it is and then I would myself just like iced green tea I would have had a sip it's very bitter it's like bittery green uh, tea flavor which I like that's to me how the green tea should taste so there's no added sugars or anything it's just nice it's just refreshing I think maybe a little hint of lemon but is it really I don't know it says Kyoto Fukujun Fukujuan Imon green tea absolutely butcher that name but yeah anyways so that is it this is the end of today and I think I will see you with the next vlog. It's probably gonna be the Mount Fuji one. So yeah. Yeah, if you're still watching, please give a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>